Good morning, Virgo. Um, the good news is the sky is clearing. We've had quite stormy, rainy weather. The sky's been really dark and grey and dreary. But I'm looking out my window this morning and I can see blue skies and white fluffy clouds. And uh, things are looking up. So maybe things are looking up for you as well. Maybe you're itching to get outside. Um, okay, so... Um, now, a bit of a strange start to your reading today because um, I get these kind of... Uh, like uh, images and songs coming through sort of as I'm falling asleep or as I'm waking up but today um you I actually had off well, the past week or so I've been having very 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 vivid dreams now I used to have vivid dreams a lot when I was younger but um it's kind of it I don't normally remember my dreams anymore um you know it's like as soon as my head hits the pillow, I'm flat out asleep or I have like disturbed sleep. But yeah, I don't normally remember my dreams. So um, it's a bit of a switch to actually have these very, very vivid dreams. Uh, I'm not going to tell you about all of them. Uh, <laughs> I'll keep those to myself. But um, one that came through with a song and it was so interesting the way it happened because... Um, uh, okay, before I start, I'm going to say uh, trigger warning. Um, so if you don't like um, uh, things to do with medical um, medical situations um, um, and tests, okay, um, just go down below to the description box and there'll be a timestamp so you can skip this bit and go straight to the reading. So trigger warning, you know, I've said it. So um, I won't tell you the whole scenario, but I was going to a hospital to visit someone and I had to have a test. A bit like having a, t a COVID test kind of thing. But it wasn't a COVID test, it was a blood test and it was a prick test. So um, it was on the back of my hand and they kind of pricked the back of my hand with the needle and put is it a litmus paper on it um, and waited to see what, what the litmus paper did. But the nurse kind of acted all freaked out. So she tested me again and did another litmus test. And she said, to, and I said, what's wrong? And she said, you've got too, too many grabbits in your blood too many grabbits in your blood and I was like grabbits um, so um I woke up and I was like what are grabbits is that like an actual medical term <laughs> and so I googled it I googled sort of grabbits in the blood um and what came up was um a song um well it was a, a he's um it's a music artist a producer called grabbits like rabbits but with a z instead of an s and a g before it and I've he never heard of them before in my life as far as I'm aware um but it was so specific and as soon as I saw it I was like that's what it is it, they've given me a song and this is how they get this is how they're guiding me to the song by giving me the words and the the scenario it's like an interpretive song <laughs> it's more like a jigsaw puzzle or like a yeah, some kind of puzzle I had to follow the clues to get to the song um so it, there was two songs that it could have been one of them was something like uh dog's blood but I don't think it, that was the right one um the one that I think it was was um um someone else Someone Else uh, by Grabbits and it's actually been released this year um, a couple of months ago I think um yeah, and as soon as I watched it, I was like, that's what it is. Because if you watch the video, um, because the, the phrase was, there's too many grabbits in your blood. And she, this woman's kind of um, an android. She's kind of got electric in the blood. Um, it, yeah, it, as soon as I saw the video, I was like, that is exactly it. That's, that's what it was leading me to. So never heard of them before in my life. Maybe you have. Maybe it will have some kind of meaning to you. I don't know. It seemed important. Okay, so uh, what else did I get? I've got the, the line Stay Close To Me by I Take That Song, uh, Run Away by Taylor Parks, and uh, the line Drag Me To Death, Drag Me To Death by, from Jokes On You. So a couple, we've got a couple of reoccurring songs now um, that are coming through. Um, some songs that came through from sort of Spotify this morning was another Taylor Parks song, which was Read Your Mind. Um, well, it's Half a World Away by Oasis, uh, Six Feet Under by Billie Eilash, I'm just going to call it Billie Eilash, uh, Strict Machine by Goldfrapp, and Switch by Will Smith. Hey! <laughs> so I've been dancing around to Switch, that's like the last song that was on before, I, like as I was setting up the reading, so of course I was doing a bit of Switch in my bedroom. <laughs> um... So any any more songs that come through, and all these songs will all be in the description box below, so you can go and find them, see if there's any extra messages in there for you. Uh, yeah, good stuff. So 
I've got a switch in my head now from Will Smith. Uh, the next um, thing that I wanted to talk about was I was re-watching your reading from last week um, and it was pointed out to me that um, you think uh, with, I was sub sort of subconsciously um, channeling uh, Quentin Tarantino songs, so songs from Quentin Tarantino movies. I think one of them was Magic Carpet Ride. Um, I said that line and then apparently I said something else as well. So somebody might really like Quentin Tarantino movies, I don't know. Um, but it was really, the coincidence is that I've had in my head the scene from True Romance right at the end where they're on the beach and uh, is, is her name Patricia Arquette? Um, the, the the woman is watching uh, Christine Slater um, lifting his son up um, in the sunset um, and playing with him on the beach and she's just looking at him and she's going, you're so cool, you're just so cool. Uh, so that scene's been in my head, which is such a coincidence because that's a Quentin Tarantino movie. I think he wrote it. Um, so yeah, that seems to be a bit of a theme for you at the moment. Uh, what else did I want to talk about? All uh, oh, the cards have been misbehaving this morning. I've got naughty cards. This pack in particular has been a very naughty pack. So they're in a timeout for now. Um, this pack over here, um, the, the cards kept sticking together. It was like, no, no, we, we don't want to be separated. We want to be together. Is that a... What's that? I want to be together. Is that a... I don't know, there's some kind of reference trying to come through, but I can't quite place it. So yeah, so, I'm, oh, and this deck as well, the tea leaf deck, as I was shuffling these, one of them ran off. One of the cards ran off right under my chest of drawers and I had to go crawling around on the floor to go and try and find the card. And like an idiot, I didn't look at what the card was and I should have done, but I didn't. So there we go. I'm going to go to the Archetypes deck by Kim Kranz, um, and with, this is going to give us whoops, a um, spitting on myself there. That was really attractive. I'm really glad I don't have face cam right now. Uh, whee, there we go. Oh, ooh, wow. This is looking like a very interesting card. And then straight away, I'm seeing the star, and I've got because I've been listening to Switch by Will Smith. I've got um. Oh, you're a movie star or something? <laughs> in my head. It's like, uh, what is it? Um, are you a movie star or something? And he's like dancing on the dance floor. Um, right, okay. Um, Anemia Mundi. Yeah, I'm really noticing the star. The star seems very, very important right now. Uh, oh, look at all the eyes. Okay, more 90s movies are coming through. Um, uh, I've been wanting to watch a movie called Mad Love with uh, Drew Barrymore in, and is it Christine Slater as well? What's going on with Christine Slater movies? This is getting freaky now. Um, but um, the, Drew Barrymore in that movie, she's she's got, um, I think, mental health issues, and they kind of run away together, but she's, she's deteriorating, and she starts cutting out all these um, eyes from magazines, and she's posting eyes all over the world. Go and watch that movie, because I need to watch it again. I've not seen it for years, but from what I remember, I absolutely loved it. Um, yeah, really want to watch that movie again. So that's what I'm getting from these eyes today. Um Mm. Mm hmm. What's that in the middle? Like a little Buddha? Or oh, no, is it? Uh, I'm so sorry. I'm messing up someone's religion here. Uh, Krishna? No, I can't remember. It's, it's the woman, isn't it? I'm so sorry that I can't remember the name. Maybe you could um, pop that in the uh, comments box below and tell me who, who this figure is. Um, I will look it up myself as well. Um, and they've got this flame burning on the head. A hot headed, needing to, needing to channel, needing to meditate, needing to open yourself up to the universe. Or oh, are they manifesting? Look at all, the way all these pearls and is that a diamond there are all coming into them. So like knowledge with the eyes, and it's all circling around them, coming into them. Um, interesting symbols around the outside as well some of them some of them are like star sign symbols I think are they and some of them are I don't recognize what they all are um, okay I might have to go to the book for to find out more about this something about meditation and sort of the other chakra colors and and the way this the stuff is circling around them um, so what number are we on there for 
turn it that way. 50, 60, 78, 78. Seven and eight, what would that translate to? So that would be 15, which would break down to a six. Sixes are about balance, um, about sharing, uh, about... Um, does this card even exist? I can't find it. I ha oh, it looks like it's the very last card in the book. Here we go. So this is the, uh, the Archetype's Guidebook here by Kim Kranz. Um, so let me grab the, the card. Um, Anamia Mundi epitomizes the principle accept all, reject none. Simply put, it is the living soul of the world in all its multifaceted, multidimensional layers, bonded together by loving cosmic forces. Diversity is celebrated, multiplicity is honored, and nothing is denied. Oh, nothing is denied, embrace. Um, cons constructs of separation dissipate into the wonderful mess of shared consciousness. Anime and Mundi is the link between the literal and the imaginal, the rational and the mythic. It is the connective fibre that makes life meaningful. This card indicates an initiation on the level of the soul. You will awaken the unique light within and witness how this light contributes to the radiance of the entire universe. You will sense yourself as a critical note in the cosmic or orchestra. Destiny is altered as you hear the enchanted, mel en yeah, enchanted melody of all living things. Virgo! Virgo, what on earth is going on for you? That is, uh, that's some heavy stuff right there. We've, we've gone like out of this world now. Um, the main message I'm taking from that, especially tied into last week's reading, is this idea of embracing all, um, accepting all, embracing all, accepting people's faults, accepting, um, not picking sides, which was a key theme actually from last week's reading because that was about taking the middle ground and being the grey man and listening to both sides of a situation, listening to everybody's concerns and, and trying to uh, create some kind of resolve, like resolving conflict. So that ties in really well. But this is kind of like you've took that and you've you've ran with it and you've, you've basically ascended to a whole new level of uh, like, I don't know, it's like, are you, are you the Buddha now? <laughs> are you... Um... <laughs> Are you the Dalai Lama? Okie dokie. I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend anybody, like, religion-wise. I joke around a lot, I do. Uh, I am actually very respectful of everybody's religions. Please excuse me when I start joking. I don't mean to offend. Um, so, let's have a look. So, let's... Excuse me. Um, I'm getting a lot of, like... <laughs> Sort of burping and spitting. <laughs> Ew! I'm so sorry, everybody. It's quite embarrassing, but I don't know if that's something that might be important to somebody. Maybe there's a lot of stuff going on with the mouth. Maybe there's um um something about speaking. Something about yeah, something about the mouth. Um, I'm, I'm sure that'll come through a little bit more in a minute. Let's get an energy though for you. An energy for Virgo please, the elephant, that makes a lot of sense for you, um, elephant energy, so this is kind of like um, being very very steadfast, very grounded and kind of being very much a part of the tangible world um, and the kind of day to day things, um, the beast has been, um, my, my partner the beast, he's been um, complaining a little bit that Virgos get the boring readings, it's like you go to work, you pay the bills. <laughs> Um, and that kind of boring stuff. Um, and he says, like, I want to be like one of the signs, like, you're always saying this sign's sexy. <laughs> and I'm like, well, <laughs> you know, they, that's what comes through. Don't blame me, blame the cards. But, you know, Virgo energy is a very dependable energy. Uh, and that's sexy in a different way. So I was, I was talking about the scene in... Um, Ozark where he's having a bit of a fantasy I think it's in the first episode he's having a bit of a fantasy and he's in a car with uh, a lady of the night um, and he's, he's kind of feeling a bit rejected by his wife um, and this uh, woman in the car with him is sort of saying she's very attracted to that kind of dependable, reliable um, <laughs> yeah um, yeah, that kind of dependable energy of someone who works hard, goes to work every day, pays the bills. Um, so, you know, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing to be. Um, <laughs> it's starting again. My mum watches these videos. I'm so sorry, mum. 
<laughs> don't go and look up that scene. You don't want to see it, Mum. Um, oh, actually, I was talking about my mum, and the elephant is um, my mum's favourite animal. Um, so, yeah. Um, this is getting weird. <laughs> Shall I just restart this re reading? What has this turned into? Anyway, so this elephant is plodding on through the night. Um, dependable, resilient, um, focused, determined, um, has broad shoulders. Uh, but he's got this um, third eye chakra here. Um, it's like um, intuitive knowing, and intuitively knowing where you're heading, um, intuitively being guided by the universe. And he's carrying this fire, he's carrying this flame. So we'll find out more about what that flame signifies. But there's a, there is this sense of perseverance here. Um, perseverance, um, being very, very grounded, but being very connected to spirituality as well. Okay, now we're going to go to the naughty pack. You can come out of time out, but you need to behave. And if you're naughty again, I'm going to put you back into time out. Okay? Okay, Cinderella, I'll be good. Okay, right, let's go then. Madness. It's Saturday, guys. It's Saturday, I'm allowed to be a little bit bonkers. Okay, whoops. They didn't quite come out. So can I get the situation, please, for Virgo? Situation for Virgo, please. <laughs> they're not cooperating now nothing wants to come out they're like I've been told off I don't want to play anymore situation please for Virgo can I get more about the situation thank you uh, okay I have to say what I'm thinking here uh, so I'm hearing immediately lock and key um, the key to someone's heart um the bird cage is open, so perhaps somebody has been keeping, um, keeping something within the heart. But now they've found the key, and that's been unlocked. Um, and the the rose is blooming now. This this love is blossoming, and it can be self love. It doesn't have to be in, with another person. It could hey yo <laughs> hey yo uh, sorry mom. Uh, it doesn't have to be with another person. It can be um, f discovering a love inside yourself and allowing your inner light to shine. Uh, this golden key, the key seems relevant. I can't quite get what I'm trying to get here. Something to do with the golden with it being golden golden key golden golden opportunity golden golden key i don't know it might come through uh 30 what's that as well 33 so you've got a double number there um watch out for the number 33 that might um indicate other messages for you around you uh, and this is the eight of pentacles as well this yeah so you're working on yourself i think you're working on your inner self you're working on inner healing inner um I'm not seeing it so much as healing. I'm seeing it as blossoming, like an inner, a blossoming of your true self on the inside, um, and, and an unlocking. It's like a sense of freedom with it as well, freedom to be yourself. Um, but you're working on it. It's 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 not something that happens overnight. This is like a long, um, a long road, like the elephant on that long road, having the perseverance. Um, yeah. So you're working on yourself. Uh, there may be a bit of a maze here though for you. It may be. Sometimes you don't know which way to turn. Sometimes you feel a little bit lost. Um, but use your intuition to kind of guide you forward. Uh, the universe is, the universe is here with you. Um, it's like your friend in the night. The universe is is guiding you, um, and they'll help you tr sort of work your way through the maze. Okay, uh, let's get some more, some more please on the situation here for Virgo. I've not pulled any tea leaf cards yet. Now this card, um, I'll put it back in and show you what it did. It it jumped out and then it tur turned around in midair, flipped and went back in like that. I caught it as I continued to shuffle. So it's going to be in the, um, oh yeah, pathway. So it, it, that fits really well with maze. Um, it's in the reverse. You could see it flipped upside down as I was shuffling. Um, yeah, you, there's no clear path here. There's no clear path. Or you're not seeing the path. You're not. Maybe you're not connecting with your intuition, which means you're not being able to see the light. You can't see the path. Uh, that clear path ahead of you is... is, is um, there's something. There's something kind of blocking you. There's something that's not allowing you to see the path. Um, like tangled thoughts... 
you can see how the, the this is really messy and there may be too many thoughts too many if you're if you're connecting to your intuition for the first time if you're sort of connecting to i don't know the collective um as that's kind of the term um for the first time you you may be sort of feeling quite overloaded you may be feeling over emotional what was that beep i don't know what that beep was for why are you beeping at my phone um it was 2020 it was 2020 on my my phone when that beep happened i think on that you can check the timestamp below um and it beeped so that's some kind of confirmation for someone what was i saying i don't even know what i'm saying because i got so distracted over emotional was it over emotional overloaded thoughts yeah over overload uh keep yourself grounded keep plodding on keep i'm also seeing the straight path and it, it was last week's reading was that middle ground taking the middle ground so plodding forward it's not like keep your goal in sight. The elephant could probably just walk through these hedges to their goal. And I'm also seeing sort of the shape of this um, archway and the shape of the top of the cage is very, very similar. It's kind of some like inner temple. Uh, I don't know what it is. It's, this is a very sort of out there reading. It was like I was talking about that dream, how I had to kind of put the pieces together. Um, Let's go to the tea leaf deck and see what that has for us. Can you, uh, can you tell me, there was a hair in there, Ew. I'm gross today, Ew. why are you watching my readings, I'm so gross. Uh, check that out. Um, can you tell me more about the situation, oh he's giving you all the cards. More about the situation please, wow, okay, I don't need literally all the cards. The situation for Virgo, if we can finish a sentence. Uh, okay, so the first one that came out was needle and thread. A sincere wish will be granted. So if you are wishing for something, be sincere. Needle and thread, stitching together, stitching uh, sort of like the thread of life. The thread of... <laughs> uh, you will be taken care of in difficult times. Oh, so sweet. And also I'm looking at kind of how... It's like it's like like a snake around the staff, but it looks like a it looks like a thread as well. So something to do with the needle and thread, and this is reinforcing something. Um, the arrow, and this has a thread around it as well. You are on the right path regarding some aspects of your life. So I think destiny is getting involved for you here. There's an element of destiny. There's an element of fate. There's an element of um, the universe helping you. The thread of life being wound, uh, guiding you. It's almost like it's almost like the thread of life is around this arrow and it's pulling the arrow to make the, the arrow straight, fly straight. Um, yeah, so there's a, you may be going off path here. I, this is what I'm guessing now. You may be going off path, you may be distracted, you may be going, oh, squirrels! Um, fly straight, fly straight and true. Um, the universe is supporting you. This is reinf the reinforcing the right path. Uh, the elephant, reinforcement. Shark, take care or there will be a loss of material wealth. Watch your spending. Watch your spending. Don't be throwing money away. Eh, good news. Good. We like good news. Oh, right. Lightning. Control your anger or you will be sorry. Control your anger. I think that was coming through last week as well. Virgo. Behave yourself. <laughs> and we have the superstar of the tarot here. The most important character in the entire tarot. My, it's me uh but it's, this is saying discord among friends or family um mm, yeah if there's some discord among friends or family control your anger nest an emotion an emotionally secure loving family is important to you okay so uh Having an emotionally secure living family is important to you, but there may be discord in your family now or your your, your friendship circle, which is causing you to feel quite angry. Uh, but you need to control that anger. I'm not going to pull any more tea leaf cards because we've got quite a lot there. Uh, no, I have to. I have to. It has to be done. Oh, it's already got loads. This is the one. This is the deck that decided to run off. Right, luckily, I only got a couple from that then. No, I got five. Oh, God. Obstacles to overcome. Yeah, I feel like that fits in there with the maze. Uh, feeling tied down or frustrated. Interesting. Uh, work achievement success. I'll put that with good news. Uh, getting together with friends. Maybe with mice. Uh, grasshopper. 
Ah, oh, young grasshopper. Uh, situations in the balance that require careful handling. Oh, yeah. Oh, Virgo, what is going on for, with you? No wonder you feel overwhelmed. There's quite so much to make sense of here. Okay, let's keep going. Let's keep going. <sighs> what do I want to clarify here? What's going on? Can you tell me more about the this family situation? Uh, Queen of Cups. Uh, uh, someone's not being loving enough. Someone's not showing enough emotion. Someone may have pulled back emotionally. Um, somebody may be over-emotional. I was saying somebody may be over-emotional here. Um, uh, the Queen of Cups uh, can be somebody who's Im emotionally imbalanced, uh, emotionally unstable, um, all over the place. Um, okay, what can we do about that Queen of Cups being in the reverse? So, do you have any advice there for that? Ace of Cups, show love, be more loving, bring love into the situation, or this could be a new love, leaving this love that's not working and moving towards a new love that is overflowing with love this cup's overflowing with love and there's uh it's in kind of a very balanced um still waters oh, okay and we have the queen of swords on the bottom there so moving to someone who's moving away from someone who's too emotional to someone who's more logical perhaps uh okay that's not the nicest situation there. I'm sorry, Virgo. Uh, what else do we want to find out about? Why? Why is this anger here? What's the difficult times? Uh, tell me more about the anger. The world. The owl symbolizes knowledge. There's this, there is a theme of knowledge here. Uh, this is a difficult reading, um, Virgo. Oh my goodness! There's another tea leaf card hiding. It's because because of the of the pattern, it was kind of blending in, and it was right underneath my tripod. A new job or career. So I feel like I was meant to see this at this time. Somebody may be getting a new career offer that involve that requires them to move or to travel. Um, Yeah, the world card can mean global travel, but it's the world is the last card in the major arcana of the tarot, and it means um, with it being the owl as well, it's like somebody has completed a cycle in their life. They've learnt everything they can within a situation. So this could be your current job. You've you've learnt everything that you that there is to learn. You've done everything there is to do in this current job. You're at the top of the ladder in your current position. So you're ready to. Uh, spin the wheel and start a new cycle in your life um, so yeah it's with this new job or career pin 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 so hit with pin it could be some sort of like I'm getting like tie pins you know you may be, you may have to move into a position where you have to be a little bit more formal you have to wear formal wear rather than jeans um, or um, it's kind of a position that involves respect you know like um Sometimes is it like the military or the police force? Uh, they have pins, don't they? Um, the like as a as a reward, um, or as a status symbol. I don't know. I'm not in the military or the police. I don't know these things. Um, pin cushion as well with the anger. Pin cushion. Make sure you're not. If you're feeling very stressed and overwhelmed, make sure you're not taking that out on somebody else. You're not treating someone as your pin cushion. Yeah. Uh, this obviously everything in here could be reversed. So this could be someone treating you like a pincushion, especially with that Queen of Cups in the reverse, needling you. Um, okay. Uh, right, we'll pop that back. So please tell me, whoa, what's going on in the heart space, please, for Virgo? 
what's going on in the heart space for Virgo? Do you know, Virgo, I feel like you should just drop all this, get rid of all this. Just go and watch Leo's reading. Leo had a brilliant reading yesterday and I feel like it's really good advice for absolutely everybody. You've got this health, like self-healing business going on. Just go and watch Leo's reading <laughs> because uh, your reading is a bit challenging. I can see you're having a bit of a hard time right now. Um, okay, so heart space, please. yeah working working uh, emotions working on your emotions uh so you had this exact thing here this is the eight of uh, pentacles as well um working on yourself um it could literally mean work you, you know you do have this career things as well the eight of pentacles is, is, is about your job uh getting better at your job um doing something repeatedly oh excuse me oh it's all going on in the mouth area today for me um I'm so sorry, Virgo. <laughs> Do you know, Virgo is meant to be a sign that's really, really neat. Um, <laughs> they're meant to, like, if you read sort of the description of Virgos, it's like, oh, you're very, you're very meticulous. You're very, yeah, a bit of a perfectionist. You like everything to be nice and neat and tidy, you know. Um, but the Virgos I know, that is not true at all. Um, I lived with three Virgos. Um, when I was a teenager, um, we had like a, a, a flat, we all lived together, it was me, the beast, my best friend and another friend, all Virgos and I swear to God, the flat was always so messy. I mean it didn't help that I'm a very lazy <laughs> Libra slash Leo. Um, actually I'm meant to be really tidy I'm meant to be like love all like nice tidy things in life but uh, I'm pretty messy as well I can't, I can't lie but yeah it's like you know the stuff yeah we had a very childish sense of humor as well so like burps were funny to us um so I'm sure you can forgive me Virgo which type of Virgo are you are you the kind of Virgo that's going oh my god she's spitting and she's burping today she's so disgusting or are you going <laughs> And like laughing at this. Um, okay, back on track. Uh, so yeah, this is work. This is working on something. Working on something so much that you're an expert at it. You've, you've perfected your art. Uh, yeah, it's got the skull here as well, which I feel against is sort of like connecting with this world card about needing to um, needing to get into the end of a cycle, get into the end of um, some sort of position, uh, and ready to move on and, and start learning again and start learning new things. Um, we've got the Raven here as well, which is, um, again, information gathering, um, the book, which again, symbolizes knowledge with the owl has a book. Uh, yeah, you're ready to st step into some kind of new cycle in your life. So you may be under a lot of stress, actually. Uh, it does sound like there's a lot of stress going on, which may be causing the, dis the discord in your family situation. Um, uh blah 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 you may work with friends um so there may be some competition involved here but i think this elephant energy of being very very grounded just plodding on just doing your work keeping your focus doing your work is probably the best way to take it you want to be someone who's dependable um you know they're not going to give a promotion to someone who's who's all over the place uh, you, you've got to be grounded you've got to be dependable so if you are feeling kind of over emotional um overwhelmed uh you may need to do some meditation um, and some grounding work um go take your shoes off and go for a walk in the grass um you know really connect back to nature to the earth you're an earth sign you should be of the earth you should be grounded um you shouldn't have too much going on sort of um, leave the think, leave the overthinking to the air signs. You know that's what we're that's what we're good at. We're the neurotics of the of, of the of the um the star sign world. You you just be dependable, okay? Stop overthinking. That doesn't. That's not me saying like you can't think, you can't be intelligent. You know the Virgos I know are very intelligent, but um, I think being stuck in your head being trapped in the maze it clouds your judgment and you need to you need to have the clarity of the judgment you need to be dependable um and focused and determined and steadfast that's 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 where your strengths lie that's where your success lies is in this groundedness um yeah you don't get too caught up in your in your thoughts um so i'm getting all over the place today your energy's Throw, make me throw a wobble. You, you've... 
Okay, thoughts. What's going on in the thought space? Oh, I was going to say as well, with this inner healing work. Uh, so working on yourself, working on um, healing yourself um, and developing your ca inner character, I think, as well. Uh, thoughts. What's going on in the thoughts, please, for Virgo? Virgo's thoughts. Virgo's thoughts. Virgo's thoughts, please. Uh, the moon in reverse. Uh, the moon card is about... Um, it can be about deception, it can be clouded judgment, it can be not seeing things, it can be using your intuition, it can be um, secrets, uh, things that are hidden from you, not necessarily bad, just things that you're not aware of at this time, but with it being in the reverse, this could either be you're not using your intuition, your intuition's blocked, it could be someone is keeping secrets from you, it could be that... Um, secrets are about to be revealed so the situation's ended there's no more secrets um she's passing through this gate walking towards the home uh so the gates are open you can return home um secrets in the home the dogs are howling at the moon there's two dogs two dogs howling at the moon howling the madness yeah there could be a sense of madness um i'm and I'm, I don't know why, but like in my head they were po I'm saying they were pointing. It's not like there's literal people pointing in my head, but I was drawn to the the band Madness. Uh, so that may be significant for you. You may want to go and look up a few of their songs. Um, like Madness in the Air as well. It's, it's like, um, you know, people lose the plot sometimes around the full moon. They say that... Um, you know, all the crazy, I don't, I don't want to use crazy as a throwaway term, but all the, um, it's like the moon has an effect on people that makes people go a little bit loopy. Uh, it's sort of like madness in the air. Um, you may feel, you may be this grounded elephant who's just plodding on doing your work and you may feel like all your friends, all your family have completely lost the plot and have gone kind of, it's like there's something in the water, there's something in the water, it's, everybody's acting weird all of a sudden you're, and you're thinking what on earth is going on uh so take what resonates leave what doesn't i'm not saying that everybody's keeping secrets from you um or anything like that but for some of you it will be that for others i just feel like this sense of like madness in the air something something in the water i don't know why i'm getting that right let's get um, an advice card for you i definitely feel like you needed it today um i forgot to get my my cards out so getting them out now uh, on the underlying straight away as well, you've got the goddess of the moon. Again, the goddess of the moon can be someone who, in this in this deck, it's someone who can be over-emotional. It can be someone who's a bit of a drama queen. Um, somebody who uh, likes attention. Uh, trying to get in attention, but kind of um, in a negative way. Someone kind of like, it's almost like emotional, emotional blackmail, emotional... Um, like it, uh, an emotional imbalance imbalance where pe they're doing things for attention but um not in a positive way in a negative way um that's kind of the meaning of the card sometimes that's what i'm getting from it today especially uh, especially because we have the queen of cups in reverse this is someone who's emotionally imbalanced maybe going a little bit loopy um ouch that's not a good situation um, if that's you do you may need to go and speak to the doctor um you know there's no there's no shame in that um i think most people have some kind of mental health issue in their life at some point so uh, it's nothing to be embarrassed about you know we all go through um, different things especially if we're faced with a lot of pressure a lot of challenges around us you know it can make us a little bit unstable and it can be just a temporary thing but you know there's no harm in going and having a chat with your doctor and saying i'm going through something right now um is there anything you can do to help me um and just see what advice the doctor has for you because it can be something really simple that can you know this this cup is overflowing somebody may be drinking too much uh, it may be something as simple as cutting back on your drinking or um you know going for walks going out and having a walk in nature and um, that can just be enough to help you process your thoughts um yeah uh this this could be you or somebody around you I, I i kind of know i kind of know what's going on for someone here um so yeah okay 
let's get your advice card. I'm just going to pause actually and restart the recording just because I'm approaching the 40 minute mark. There we go. Okay, so advice card for Virgo, please. I really feel like they need it. They've got two. You've got two. They've got two. You've got two. Um, so is there a cross watcher here? Hey, cross watcher. Um, spying on the Virgos. Um, so you've got seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. This is the crown chakra. You can see that she's got this kind of crystal crown on her head. Um, I get this one all the time because this is how like the messages um, come in for me. I can... It, it started off with like it felt like somebody was like stroking my head but they were being a little bit rough it was like they were stroking my head but with the nails uh, which was obviously quite creepy um, and that was around Christmas time I remember telling somebody about it in work I was like I think there's a ghost stroking my head <laughs> I'm a bit creeped out but um, I kind of the more I allow it, um, it, it starts to feel like when it starts now, it happens quite quickly and it's like the whole of my head feels like it's opening up um, and then I get these messages I'm the crazy one. I'm the crazy one. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the crown chakra. I get this card all the time now. Um, it's, it's, I'm just going with it. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> sure. Uh, woman holding a heart, 44. So you have 33, now you've got 44. Uh, so this is looking like a love offer. Um, I'm going to read the book before I say what I'm getting from that. are we so let's go to the uh seventh chakra first 41 ah this was an answer to a crossword puzzle as well i was like it's uriel i know the answer to this um okay seventh chakra archangel uriel uh spirit connections intuition and inspiration the beautiful angel uriel who called who also called the fire of God, wears a brilliant crystal crown vibrating with passionate co um, connection to the divine. She brings great power to your seventh en energy chakra, which is called the crown chakra and is located at the top of your head. Excuse me. Uh, this card upright, upright indicates an open and fleet why can't I speak? There's definitely there's definitely something going on with the mouth. Um, I'm surprised like the throat chakra didn't come out here because it's like somebody's not speaking or somebody can't speak or can't communicate or they can't find the right words or they try to speak, they try to express the feelings but they end up it, like sort of spitting words. Um, I'm sorry, I got really distracted then. Um, yeah, there's definitely a very... I'm feeling really out of sorts. I'm feeling the energy here. It does feel like I'm all over the place. Um, like too many thoughts going on. Um, so it, like as I'm channeling into your energy, there's, there's this kind of scattered, scattered brainness. I'm finding it hard to focus. This is definitely someone you're connecting with here. Um, okay. <sighs> I need to go out for a walk in the grass, I think, after this reading. Um, the card upright indicates an open and free-flowing channel of information and inspiration from the wonderful beings in the spirit world. This could also be a time of great intuition for you and guidance from your higher awareness. So allow yourself to quiet your mind and listen. Quiet your mind and listen. So I was talking about someone needing to meditate or at least take, you know, a long bath, uh, listen to some music. I don't know if those sirens are a sign of something, confirmation of someone or a warning. Um, yeah, someone needs to, to do whatever they need to do to relax and connect with, uh, like to ground themselves, connect with spirit. Um, whatever brings them clarity of thought, they need to go and do that. Uh, now is a great time to get connected. The assistance from spirit is great. And whether it's the presence of an ascended master, a powerful angel like Uriel, or just a loving friend or family member in spirit, their love and willingness... I'm not saying someone's passed over. Someone, someone who's passed over is supporting you from the spirit world. Their love and willingness to assist is always there. They even open... They even open you to the Akashic Records or a layer, a layer consciousness, the storehouse of all the information. This connection is open now, so you'll be, you will find that your own spirit and the spirits of those around you will be able to provide the answers you seek and the blessings you desire and deserve. I told you this was going to be a bit of a um, out there reading. Um, I'll just show you that because I couldn't pronounce it properly. Akashic Records or a layer consciousness, if you wanted to Google that and find out more about it. Um, 
Ja. Oh, I can feel that this this there's a struggle here for you, Virgo. Um, my heart's going out to you at the moment. I'm the woman holding the heart. My heart's going out to you at the moment because I can see that this is. Uh, this is a very difficult energy to have around you. I don't necessarily feel like it's your energy. I think you may be the elephant, um, you know, the, gr the grounded person, or at least you need to go, go and get grounded. Um, that you may have a lot of people around you who are all over the place right now, and, and perhaps you're being too, too sensitive to that. Perhaps you're... It's almost like um, information and emotional overload, and it's it's causing you to kind of get angry or definitely off kilter so you ground yourself be be the elephant virgo woman holding a heart female dealing with family love or emotions the woman on this card wears a butterfly in her hair and holds a lovely large heart in her hands for a woman this card upright could be a reflection of your own state of peaceful emotion and re receptivity for love or it might be a message that your family issues are going to resolve I know exactly what this is for someone. You're an intuitive woman who understands the emotions of life and you're bringing that awareness to all that you do. This card upright could also indicate the presence of a female friend, teacher or confidant who is here to help with issues of love, family or emotion. This is an even-tempered and caring person who resonates with you and your emotions. This could also pretend a new love interest or a friend coming your way. You did have that Ace of Cups card there. Uh, that is... That does signify a new um, new love interest or new friendship. Just some kind of new... Um, and it could be in, um, within an existing friendship as well. So you could be friends with someone and they're expressing that they want more from you. Or it could be um, somebody who... An acquaintance who uh, is there for you and suddenly becomes a much closer friend. Uh, it's a, it's a, some kind of newness in love or friendship or, or some kind of connection, uh, some kind of relationship in your life. Uh, so... And it does say actually as well, if it had come out reverse, this card could indicate a state of being emotionally overwhelmed and you may feel like your love life has turned upside down. Um, I'm going to carry on reading that. It could also refer to some different uh, difficulty in family matter or close friendship. If this is the case, it's time to let go or resolve things now. There's also a possibility that this woman reversed is someone who brings a ne negative emotional influence to your life. There may be jealousy, resentments, or even more subtle manipulations going on. Don't take these things personally, but endeavour to bring greater clarity and calm, self-empowerment to the situation now. Self-empowerment. But and always remember to bring a loving, heartfelt energy to yourself. Love yourself first. The affirmation for this is, I am emotionally calm and peaceful, and I attract healthy and stable people to me. That's definitely a message for someone out there. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry that that was an absolute, um, I'm hearing what, ta what tangled webs we weave, what tangled webs we weave, so that may be something to someone, uh, but yeah, this maze, I'm sorry that this was an absolute mess of a jigsaw puzzle here, um, for you, Virgo, I wish this reading was a lot more clearer, a lot more, um, stable but I feel like you're wishing your situation or the, the, the emotions of someone were a lot more stable um, yeah good luck, all the best with that Virgo I hope next time we meet we have a much much more easier reading I do feel like perhaps some of you should go back and watch last week's Virgo reading uh, because that was talking about um, a lot of people a lot of chaos around you it's kind of the similar theme um, a lot of people a lot of chaos around you a lot of emotions around you a lot of people losing the plot and you're just you're you're meant to be the gray man you're meant to be the the steadfast person in the situation but I feel like uh, maybe this is getting to you a little bit right now um, yeah go and do that grounding work go and do some meditation get back to get back to this okay eyes on the prize goal in sight don't let everybody else's nonsense bother you good luck virgo take care bye bye